a little. That, it, it, it's just we don't normally see it. That's why. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just look, just look in the bottom right corner if you want to see some cheese and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the match. Let's see. Uh, Right now, Fox doing pretty much the right thing. It's just letting Sonic approach. I mean, a lot of people are, like, fearful of Sonic moving in that fast. We've got a B-button warrior right now, though. Yeah. <laughs> just crouch dances. But, I mean, she, she's playing it uh, the way oh, she should. Go. Just waiting, yep. waiting for her moment, moments after the Sonic dash. He's yep. usually vulnerable after the speed boost. And something very important that a lot of players don't capitalize on is once Sonic uses that up B, he's forced to choose a landing option. You can punish him out of that landing. There you go, yeah, but he was able to air dodge, air dodge that time. Oh, trying to get a little mix Ooh. up there. A little ballsy with that shield, shield boost. If that was a power shield, she probably would have gotten that punish. Here comes the wave. Oh, shielded at the wrong time, yeah. Oh, good punish there on the mismatch. A little bit of a pummel, but he's able to get back out with the aerials. Alright, the get-up attack keep, keeping Fox off guard. Mm -hmm. Dark Warrior just using dash attacks to punish Fox's legs. Yeah, and I right now she... she's switching styles a little bit. Yeah, I think she's gonna start catching on to stuff like that. Yeah, she's trying to predict when Sonic's moving in, but before she was just waiting for Sonic to move in on her own zone. And Sonic is one of those characters that really tests your patience and mm -hmm. tests your punishability. Because you need to punish Sonic like that. <laughs> yes. Uh, a lot of his spin dash approaches seem very safe, but you can shield and then immediately punish with an aerial out of shield if you're fast enough. Right, and right when she was landing there, that left her pretty much open. Good roll dude there. Getting the juggling. Marth is always better when his uh, opponent is above him. Right. Ooh, oh, and just, just a clean forward smash and taunts too. Wow, just out of range right there. A little bit late on that back throw. Oh, the grab attempt. Uh, despite Dark Warrior being a bit predictable with his approaches, yeah, it may be a little bit hard for uh, Marth Ooh. to get a kill confirm here. Yeah, he was playing a little more like that spin dash. He was able to. Alright, I'll smash. He was uh, doing a lot more uh, back rolls off of just running in, so he's trying to get a little more like mind game with the approaches. Oh, good punish on that roll in right there. Mm -hmm. Dancing Blade is the bread and butter for Marks. I'm surprised that Hoping Attack hit. That was weird. <laughs> Not be able to two frame because Mark can recover surprisingly low. Yes. Ooh. Now this could. Nope. He's often too far out. He's waiting. Oh, almost with that standard getup. Shield Pierce just a little too far forward. Oh, avoiding that up smash. Mm. Alright, she was behind, so that probably <laughs> one of the best options. Right? Trying to get that down smash, but just trying to find a way to end the Sonic stock. But again, I feel like Marth has somewhat inconsistent kill options against a character like Sonic. Oh. Shield Pierce, he did have to drop it because it was charged a little bit more and that would have broken shield. Nice. And a very nice tipper forward smash. Great punish there on the uh, on the misspaced uh, <laughs> recovery there from Sonic. Right, and so long as she's aware of whenever Sonic's coming in, she can turn this around with a good couple of combos and tipper aerials. Oh, definitely. Marth is actually uh, Marth is actually fairly momentum based. Once you start getting those tiny straight hits with Marth, things start going down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alright, forward throw, sending Marth up. Oh, trying to get that grab, trying to get the back throw. Right, but not gonna do it. And he's able to just actually just stop the spin dash altogether. Forward sma uh, up smash, almost takes it out. <laughs> Probably if he had a little bit more rage, that would have done. Okay. Oh, trying to get a just a dash up grab, trying to get some momentum started again. It is very oh, oh very perfect nice shield. perfect shield. Oh, I am just walking at the wrong time. Yeah. What everybody likes to call the hypno smash. Yeah. <laughs> and right. Like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> right now I got my match against Redeemer, so yeah. we'll good see luck, if we can get somebody for it. Thank you very much. Yeah, good. You got this. <laughs> I hope so. All right, so the things that were interesting there is, uh, despite Dark Warrior doing a bit of, he was doing a bit of sporadic options right there. Uh, it was kind of a little bit difficult to get a read on him, but he was also kind of predictable with his retreat. 
if uh, Fox can get a handle on how he's retreating, often with back roll, then I think she can get a better handle on what's going to be going on in this matchup. Opting to switch to Robin? I think I agree with that, because uh, projectiles could give an approaching Sonic a bit of trouble, especially the arc fire. I'm not sure exactly how Spin Dash interacts with them, but I would assume that, at, at the very least, arc fire <laughs> stops Sonic. It should. <laughs> Regardless, we're going to find out very soon. Yep, that's exactly what I like to see. The projectile immediately stuffing out Sonic. Trying to get the grab. Again, Rob- Ooh, good back air there. Robin's grab not the highest range, so it may be a little tricky getting one of those. Dark Warrior being patient, so he doesn't actually get hit by that. Ooh, actually jumping up on that platform, that was smart. And there, all Fox, yep, all Fox had to do was uh, punish that with an up air. But I think she went for the neutral air just to kind of be safe as, where, as to where Dark Warrior was. But Robin actually has a very large up air. Ooh, good forward smash to punish that roll. Again, I think Fox is catching on with that, those uh, retreat options. Oh, there we go, the up air. But now the Levin Sword is gone. It may be a little bit trickier to get it confirmed. But as long as she's safe with how she plays defensively, Sonic's approach options are actually fairly pattern based and linear. So, as long as you hold up shield at the right times, and do the correct defensive options, you have a pretty good shot. Dark Warrior now has Fox on the ledge. Oh, the rising forward air does not quite do it. Dark Warrior just trying to get her off with those smash attacks, but it's not gonna, not gonna be worth doing. Oh, the up tilt punishing that homing attack. Dark Warrior is very fond of that homing attack. Oh, the power shield trying to get an option there. I think she was going for the up smash, but just a little too slow because of that spring. Up air may kill at this percent, especially with this much rage. But a lot of Sonic's moves may kill as well. She's got to be wary about that forward smash because she got hit by it twice. Oh. Yeah, and I think that's the benefit. Fox here doesn't have to approach with Robin. Oh. That was a smart that was a smart read on the uh, jump from ledge option. The down smash is sending her out, and that's going to be the first stop. Dark, War Dark Warrior is gonna try and get some more percent. Doing a pretty good job so far. Good back throw there, trying to get him off stage. Got a Thoron ready. That'll probably kill at this percent. Oh, I think she tried to do it. Oh, that was ill-advised. You could have just stayed on that ledge. Perfectly fine. There was no need to risk something like that. That standard getup's gonna cost him. Oh, good forward air there. Oh, trying to get that trap there, but the ledge actually saving Dark Warrior. Oh, there we go, yep. Good string there from Robin. Bread and butter. Oh, just not getting that shield up in time. Trying to challenge it with an attack, I think. The best thing to do is just power shield back. Oh, there we go. The arc fire catching. Not 11 sword, but still going to do a pretty hefty chunk of damage. Oh, trying to get that forward smash read, but that up B is such a good escape option from Sonic. Oh, missing that homing attack, but just not quite punishing it. A little bit too afraid there. Oh. Pulling the trigger on that throw on a bit early. She's not going to be able to use any electric attacks for a little bit. Oh, the wind jab. That's going to do a lot of shield. Oh, the spot dodge saving her life there. Most likely. There we go. Just being patient enough to know that that, uh, that he was going to have to release eventually. Oh, the back there could have been huge. Great reverse hitbox of down smash there. Rolling behind. She noticed how often he was rolling as a defensive option, and she punished it quickly with the smash attack. There we go. Getting some encouragement from false there. That's what you like to see. <laughs> All right. Dark Warrior actually opting to switch, I think. The Sonic wasn't doing him too much harm. I think he was being a little bit too predictable with his approach options there. Yep, going back to Sonic. He may choose a stage without platforms. That would definitely benefit him. Or Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt or FD is what I would expect to see. Those are definitely various. Yep, final destination. Should probably ban Duck Hunt. This is False's girlfriend. Okay, here we go. Game three coming up right now. 
immediately being more aggressive for the approach options. Quick spin dashes, a grab. Oh my goodness. Suddenly, the tides have turned. He's not letting Robin set up a wall at all. Getting off stage with the forward air. Oh, the jab not going to be doing it. Oh, homing attack. Actually, she mistimed that power shield just slightly. She's having a bit of trouble getting some damage. The forward tilt sending them all. Let's see if she can do anything with that. Oh, rolls right behind her. Here we go. Again, you do not want to be doing that. You need to stay patient in that scenario. He's just being a little too antsy. Oh, trying to get it, but Dark Warrior taking the disguise. Here we go. Let's see how she approaches the ledge get. Oh, he read it, but just chose an option that was too too slow to punish that. Oh, that down smash just a bit too early. Gonna be punished with that ledge drop forward air. Oh, dash attack just missing that roll. Here we go. She's got some momentum. Sonic's off stage. She's bringing this back pretty well despite the fairly strong start from Sonic. Great forward air for the landing. Dark Warrior is just being a little bit too eager to get in. Oh, trying to get the back air. There's a lot of punish if that. There's a lot of punish time if that back air is not spaced properly to auto cancel. Oh, almost getting that spike. The air dodge probably saving his life. Up B. Oh, she doesn't have the Levin Sword. If she had that, she probably would have been able to cover her landing fairly well. Oh, there we go. Oh, the, again, yep, punishing that landing. Despite Robin's slowest run speed in the entire game. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go, down smash. And then the up B, it's just gonna kinda interrupt Robin's recovery. She can definitely bring this back with a solid read or a smash attack. All right, opting to create more space between them. Jump up air, could do it, nope. Ends up trying to go for the forward smash, just not quite gonna do it. Here we go. Forward throw actually setting off stage. Wow, great back air there to punish the overcommitment there. Back throw gonna send her off stage. How is she gonna get back on? Good roll. Dark Warrior has not been coming, covering that option very well, so she chose it. The up smash though. Let's see how the Fox can get back into this match. Dark Warrior, great spin dash into conversion there. Sonic Bread and Butter punishing the landing. Robin does not have the strongest landing options. Oop. Oh, opting for the fade back. Oh, there we go. Back air stalling out. Dark Warrior just needs one more good read or a smash attack. Oh, almost connecting with that forward smash, but the homing attack just going to curve up. Let's see what happens here. Dark Warrior is definitely going to be reading that. Yep, that's what I was thinking. She's been doing it a lot. But, again, she just spot dodges in time, but not enough in order to finish that match. So there we go, Dark Warriors Sonic ends up doing it, and uh, Fox ends up being sent to losers.